hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we're going to continue we're going to finish up with our this is actually the last video in the node.js express mongodb series so in this tutorial i'm going to go ahead and show you how to add a course to your api so a course stands for cross origin resource sharing so in the last tutorials we have been able to build our CRUD api so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to add a course uh, a, a course to uh, your CRUD api so you can be able to use it from anywhere and uh, multiple servers and all that kind of functionality so let's get to it so i'm going to go into my terminal in my terminal what i'm simply going to do i'm going to go npm install course just like that and this is going to install the course on my uh the course for us and then the course we can simply be able to use it as a middleware so we just go back in here and just wait for this to finish installing and we'll go back in here and then what we'll do in here we'll just require that course and then we'll simply add it to the to the uh to the as a middleware and then that's all for that course so i'm not going to show you guys how to actually test your course but you can try to create a react app or you can just try, try it in your browser or you can even go to code pen and then try it from there that's something that i'm not going to show in this video i'm just going to now show how to add a course to your as uh, your api so this is going to be course and then it's going to be uh course and it's going to be required and then simply pass in your course just like that and then you're down here so simply just to say you have to say app uh dot use and then you have in course just like that and you call it yeah and there are different parameters that you can pass in here origin and other stuff that you can just simply i'll uh, leave the link in it to link to the official documentation in the link below in case you guys are interested in finding out the other details about how course work okay so now that's that let's try to start our development server again and let's go to npm run dev just like that and it's going to run our development uh, server and uh, on localhost at port 5000 so we're going to start the development server this way and then we can now try, try out that functionality so as the reset the server running on port 5000 now it's going to make the database connection and now we are set to go so if i go here to the front end i'm just going to open my uh, go back here and then try to make try to refresh this and this is going to return to us a list of the movie in, th in this case you have only one movie so everything still works so now you can try your app on react on every any other application and the course origin will work and if you want to read more about course i'll leave a link in the description below so guys thanks for watching this uh, end of the series on node.js and uh, uh, node.js mongodb and express if you want more videos on node.js uh, express and uh, mongodb can leave a comment in the comment section below i'll do my best to get back to you guys so thanks for watching I'll uh, see you in the next one. Keep safe.